Hey guys, Condor here, and we're back playing some more War Thunder today. Now today we are playing with the I-301 Rare Premium Plane. Yes, it's very nice. It's very nice. It's very nice. Um, this plane was available during an event during Christmas last year, for a short period of time, and you had to complete 15 events in 15 days in order to get it. And yeah, uh, you had a chance to get it each time you did an event, and I had to do all of them. So yeah, that was great. Uh, so yeah, we are flying it out today, and hopefully we are going to wreck some nubs and take some names, because these plebby plubes aren't going to know what hit them. That was brutal. So yeah, this thing is pretty beast, except the one thing I don't like about it is it handles terribly above 500 kilometers an hour. dive right here. A bit aggressive on the shooting, but I knew he was going to fly into my bullet stream, so I didn't want to alter it. That guy is pulling out. And he should go down right here. Uh, very nice. There's a hurricane up high, so let's get out of this area. However, he is diving, and he's dead. Triple A, can you bugger off? So we are sitting at three kills with 34 23 mils left. Oh, I should probably mention the armament of this plane is absolutely astoundingly ridiculously good. That fury is going to rip its wings a bit. It has one 23 millimeter cannon, two 12.7 machine guns, and two 7.7 .7 machine guns. It is an absolute monster in head ons. Though we kind of one tapped that uh, P the P thirty six. That was kind of funny. Um, so yeah, this Mig should dive in my direction. Let's get that pesky little Fury off his tail. Shuffle. All right. Um, so let's just. Turning to head on as a joke. This p this hurricane is diving, so we're gonna pull off. He ripped his wings. Ha <laughs> ha. So that leaves two enemies left. Oh. All right, let's go for the ace in a day right here, ladies and gentlemen. Let's dive in. And I think we got it. This yak one doesn't steal our kill. There we go, ace in a day. Let's go. And that is a flat spinning buffalo. 
No, but that is the I throw one, pretty much summed up. It's a beast. It's a flipping beast. That Meg is dead. It compresses so bad. Watch this. He's just gonna go straight into the ground. Ready? Yeah. GG. Wow. Dude. This plane cleans up. I forgot. I haven't played this plane in a while because, you know, it's uh, April. <laughs> and, um. Uh... <sighs> GG. I haven't played this plane in a very long time. And I forgot how good it is. I mean, as you can see, we just absolutely messed up those guys. I mean, granted, I mean, this this was kind of a, a, a low tier battle. I don't know. They had hurricanes, which is commonly what screws me because. What the hell? Hurricanes screw me over a lot because they. Some of time, sometimes they're actually like smart pilots and they'll just get on your tail. And just rip you apart because you can't turn in this plane. It is, a, it's, it's an okay boom and zoomer, but it's pretty much just a head-on machine. I mean, look at that. All right, but anyways, guys, uh, I will see you in the next battle. All right, guys, we are back in another battle in the I-301, and this time we are on Ma's dock fighting the Germans. So, I believe we can do pretty well. Pick off some BF-110s or. HE-112, so that's usually the planes this thing goes up against. Stay just below the cloud level. Very shallow. And there is a BF-109 below us, that is good. We should be able to make quick work of him. We can dive on him. Yeah, and there is an HE-111. Let's go for him first. Our 23 mil is probably the best thing to take out German bombers because the other planes don't have that much ammo. So we're just gonna head on this HE-111. Hopefully. Yep, there we go. Pilot snipe. So let's turn around. BF-110, low altitude. The MC-202 is mainly what I'm worried about at the current moment. However, the BF-110 is a very good target. We can head on the ME-202. Oh, he's going away from us. So. Let's... Actually, let's go for this BF-109 right here. And he is dead. Nice job, team. So let's dive for this BF-110. That I-15 is not going to be able to do much because the BF-110 is a tank. And even though it's Russian 7.7s, they are 7.7s nonetheless. There we go. And there is a Falkwolf 200 and an HE 111 up high. You know what that means. It's time for some bomber hunting. So I'm going to turn and begin to climb perpendicular to them. I don't believe I will be able to catch them. So this way. Right. Moving in to engage. This is gonna line up perfectly for us. I 
There's one more. Let's turn around and head for this AHA 111 because that Yak 1 is not going to be able to catch up in time. Because it does not have altitude. It tried to zoom climb, but it does not have sufficient energy to get up to this altitude. So we're gonna. Oh, he's turning to head on and. Turn again. And there we go. Now let's idle power. Cool off our engine real quick. Ooh, they have a lot of people left. Um, so we are responsible for one. Ah, there's another Fock Wolf 200. Speak of the devil. So as you can see, this is a very good bomber hunter because it does have the 23 mil, but it is actually a very good ground pounder as well because it does have the 23 mil, but the 12.7s are also very effective at taking out ground units. Like for example, on Korea, I had a match where the last guy in the enemy team was running, so and I was at the base, so I landed, I refueled, and then I, uh, who said that, 0.6. I'm not sure where he is. Um, I landed, I refueled, and then I took out ground ammo to try and kill the last ground units. And with a full belt of ammo, I took out, of, like, the majority of the enemy's ground units and was able to clinch the match. One more. Got our ace in a day. I'm actually going to turn around in RTB. If we catch someone on our way back, good for us. But I'm running low on 12.7s. And that's, you know, um, the only sort of hitting power that I have. What are barrels? What is that? I've never seen that before. We might be able to engage this BF-110 if uh, Thrash needs help, because he looks like he's engaging. So if that BF-110 continues to turn with him we can come in and help a little bit all right that and he looks like he is good we're gonna avoid a head-on if he does turn narrowly missed a head-on with that bf 109 right there but set him up very nicely for the yak behind him Hopefully he should kill him. So this plane is actually very fast, if you have not noticed. And he looks like he's going in the vertical, which is a big mistake. some weapon combat flaps to get guns on target. As you can see, okay, we critical his tail. Let's put some... 48 rounds left, and... There we go. Alright. So we damage his tail. We are RTB because we are out of ammo. That BF-109 is dead. So they have two guys left that MiG should be able to take care of that BF-110. And we helped uh, that BF-109 go down as well by baiting him for our fellow Yak pilot. Yak 1, one of my fave planes. Gotta help a brother out, you know? Um, so let's go into a very sh sh a dive to a uh, lose a lot of energy because we've built up quite a bit. So I'm pretty sure that the last guy is that BF-110 and a Sparviero. Just the Italian bomber. Let's make a couple of quick S turns. Make our final approach.
There are actually two left, if I'm not mistaken. Let's go race flaps. Let's just get over these trees first. A little bit of power. Brake, landing flaps initiated. Full elevator. And... We're good. Alright, so I'm just gonna cut right here and come back once we are... Hunt down the last couple guys or the match ends. So I will see you guys then. Alright guys, so we've engaged the targets. I was just sticking around with my team. It's like, let me kill him, I critted him already, I deserve it. He was like, dude, you have five kills. I was like, really man, you didn't get the joke? He was like, yeah, I'm sure you am retarded. I got you put your private team in brain. But yeah, so we are closing fast. We critted this guy's tail, so he should be pretty useless. He looks like he just stalled, so he's going into a death spin. Death spin. If we get this kill, I will laugh so hard. We got it! We got the kill! Oh my gosh, dude. He's salty as fuck right now. Oh man, that was funny. Oh, before the battle is over, must get armored car. Yes! XP whore! <laughs> oh man, dude, this plane. So funny. Alright, guys. That was the I-301. Loading screen, if you could, if you could not. If you could not. There we go. So, we cleaned up that round. We did a lot of bomber hunting, but as you can see, we can also engage. We can tear apart heavy fighters, even without our 23mm. As you saw, we killed that last BF-110's elevator and rudder just with our 12.7s and 7.7s. Um, so we ended up with 6 kills, 7 crits, 25 hits, 2 takeoffs, 99% battle activity. 108,958 silver lines because it is a premium plane and yeah a bunch of awards so I, I forgot I know I forgot to show this thing on for the last battle so I made sure to like do it yeah because because I care and to unlock the PE too because that's totally a plane I'm gonna fly um decisions decisions I'm gonna go with the act 9 p there we go Alright, but anyways, guys, that was the I-301, the, uh, the, a beast of a plane. It's just good all-around ground strike, engaging fighters, engaging bombers. It can climb, okay? It kind of sucks at diving, but nonetheless, it is still a very good plane. I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. This has been the Condor, and I will see you later.